everybody. Hope you're all doing well. I just want to give you some directions about your next assignment, which is about D-Day. So if you go into OneNote and you click on Wednesday the 18th, that's today, you'll see the link to the D-Day assignment. It's due tomorrow, Thursday the 19th, at the end of the day. Okay, so you have two days to work on it. So click on the link and it'll bring you to the D-Day page and you can see the map at the top. This map shows where all of the different troops landed in France. Remember, we're trying to release Europe and France from Nazi control. So this was the biggest invasion ever in history. All these, these troops sailed over from England to France and hit the beaches in France against the Nazis on June 6, 1944. So our focus for this is what was it like to be there? So um, a way to start, which I think a lot of you have probably already seen, is with the scene in Saving Private Ryan where the soldiers actually land on the beaches. Um, soldiers who were there say that this is what it was really like. So it's not pretty. There's some, there's some blood in it. Um, so just watch it to get a sense of how the men felt, what were they seeing, what were they hearing, what were they feeling. Once you're done with that, then you're going to take a look at some primary source documents from someone who was there, a reporter named Ernie Pyle. Um, he was all over World War II sending reports home, and he wrote three articles about D-Day. The first one is called A Pure Miracle. The second one is called The Horrible Waste of War. And the third one is called A Long Thin Line of Personal Anguish. So I think you should take a look at all three of them. Just read through them. Get a sense of what was happening in D-Day, what Pyle saw, what he heard, what he felt, what soldiers he spoke to were feeling. You're going to be choosing one of these articles. Okay, You're going to focus on one of them. So you can pick any one of those three that you want. And then you're going to use photographs from D-Day to illustrate it. Okay, you are not personally writing anything. You are just using one of Pyle's articles and then you're going to be clicking on the D-Day photographs and picking out photos that you think illustrate his text. Okay, so this is a very famous collection of D-Day photos from before the landings to during the landings to after the landings. That's a really good collection. I've got another collection also linked here for you. Okay. So your assignment, what you're going to be handing in to me is you're going to choose one of Ernie Pyle's articles and you're going to choose carefully three article, three photographs that illustrate that article. A photo should clearly illustrate specific text. Okay. The only thing that you are going to write is a foreword in your own words describing what it must have been like to fight in this battle. Take inspiration from the article in the movie, Why Are These Men Known as the Greatest Generation? And I've got an example for you that I did um, of Ernie Pyle covering the um, invasion of Italy. So you can see exactly what I want you to do. Okay, so here's a little foreword that I wrote about the invasion of Sicily. It doesn't have to be much longer than this, but you should have um, highlighted words and phrases that describe what it was like to be there. Okay, then I took Pyle's words. Remember, I didn't write this article. Ernie Pyle did. And I found photographs that illustrate certain points in his article. Okay. So this last one, he's talking about the people of Sicily. They seem relieved and friendly. So I put, picked this photograph of American soldiers meeting Sicilians flying the American flag. Okay. So your job is to write this short paragraph and then pick one of Pyle's articles and find three photographs that go with it. Okay. I think you can do it. Look, there's AJ's homework. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be around from two to four. Please read the directions carefully before you email me for clarification, 
Okay, you got to take a lot more of this onto yourselves, be a lot more responsible. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.